Hi everyone, this is Alvin over at Contender Bicycles here in Salt Lake City in Park City, Utah. And I'm here to talk to you today and give you a little bit of a rundown on the eBike Motion Companion app that works with eBike Motion equipped bikes like this Orbea again right here. More specifically, I'm going to talk a little bit today about GPS tracking and the navigation system built into the app. Now the big thing to note with the eBike Motion app is that you're going to have to download some maps before you actually use the navigation system. Now if you go into the menu drawer on the top left and you go down to download maps, you're actually going to be able to select exactly where you are based on the map. Map subscriptions cost $3.99 per year US and you're able to download a map of wherever you are. Here we're downloading a map of Utah specifically. Now going back, uh, let's select navigation and from here it'll show you your selected location and it'll automatically select your starting point based on where you are currently. Now that you're in the navigation screen, there's a couple different things you can do. Most navigation systems, specifically that of like a Garmin or a Wahoo with a GPS cycling computer, allow you to only have a beginning point and a finishing point. Here you're actually to able to have several different waypoints by selecting the plus sign on the top right of the app. If you go in, you can choose this. Let's say we're going to go to a coffee garden here in Salt Lake City. And it found it, East 900 South. And then we're gonna select our final destination as Contender Bicycles Park City. White Pine Canyon Road. And we've selected that as the destination. Now if you go in, you select Calculate, it'll give you three different route options. It'll give you the fastest route via a road, it'll give you the quietest route, and it'll actually also give you the mountain biking route provided that there are trails and trail news based on the open street maps mapping that it uses here. The cool thing about this is if you swipe right, there's a second page which gives you estimated calculations. Here it's not really showing it, but generally speaking, it'll show you the amount of battery that you're going to consume on the trip, how many watts of the battery you'll consume, as well as your distance, estimated time, um, as well as how many dollars you might be saving by not using a car and instead using a bicycle, or how much emissions you're cutting from the air as well. Um, so if we go to the top right, we're going to select quietest and we're going to select start. And the cool thing is that it brings you back automatically to the monitor screen and right here you're actually able to select between having the map open or not. Now we're going to stop the navigation and we're actually going to go back into this menu and select last position. So the cool thing here is that it'll show you the position and status of your bicycle. In the middle where it says last e-bike connection information, it'll show you how much battery life you have, approximately where the bike was stored, and it'll show you how much battery life was consumed on that trip. And it'll actually give you the GPS location as well so you can get to it, provided you get lost in the city and need to find out where your bicycle might be. Now it's important to note that you don't actually need an e-bike motion equipped bicycle to use all of these navigation systems. You can actually just use it as a standalone app and it'll give you three different settings once again to give you the fastest route, a mountain bike specific route, or the quietest route available. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us either by phone during business hours or by email at info at contenderbicycles.com. Visit our website at contenderbicycles.com and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks everyone.